chicas! Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an exciting one. I can't really wait to do this video. I really was dying to do this video. I was like, oh my god, this is gonna be so much fun. If you follow me on Snapchat, and of course you already read the um, title of this video, it's a Snapchat Q&A, but I didn't want to do just a Snapchat Q&A. I wanted to actually meet my Snapchat family. I wanted to meet actually like you know put a face to the names who watch my snapchat stories so I decided to do a Q&A for my snapchat family without further ado we are going to get started <laughs> and this is my first time doing a snapchat Q&A so bear with me hopefully I can get through all of it and hopefully um, I don't F up <laughs> because you only get one chance you only get one chance to blow this opportunity. Okay, sorry there. So if you don't follow me on Snapchat, yeah, shoot. Because I always do awesome things on my Snapchat. I always do giveaways for my Snapchat family. What's up, Snapchat fam? We're about to do it. We are about to do... Let's get started. I'm so excited. All right, so... I'm going to put here the, the username of Snapchat that sends me the video. And let's go ahead and get a little closer, y'all, yes, out, shall we? All right, let me make sure that everything, I don't want to miss one. I really don't want to miss one. Hi girl, so I want to ask you how do you stay positive and motivated and how do you get strong nails? All right, so how do I stay strong and motivated? Positive, wait, strong nails. How do I stay positive and motivated and how do I get some strong nails? Okay, so how do I stay strong and positive, honestly? um. There's going to be times in your life where you're actually going to um, feel like you want to give up, honestly speaking. Um, one thing, honestly, is my family. My family keeps me positive and motivated. Everything that I do, I do for them. And second of all, I pray. I pray to God to give me the strength and give me the motivation to be able to continue with my life. Um, the other thing I do is I write down my goals. I have a notebook with me and I write down my goals, what I want to achieve in life, what I want to become. And just seeing that motivates me. Actually be like, okay, I want to accomplish these things. Uh, motivational quotes definitely help me out. Boss, boss, babe right here has amazing kick-ass motivational quotes for the ladies and the last thing I just look at where I was yesterday and I just see that I want to be I want to be better than I was yesterday so that's how I stay positive and motivated um, but don't get discouraged hard times are gonna come in your life but you just have to try and see the best in every situation and how do I get strong nails honestly I've had nails for the longest and I know that if I take my acrylic off my nails are gonna be very very weak because it's been so long so my thing is honestly just get acrylic or get some gel on your nails and like that your nails won't break honestly so ah, first one down let's go the next one is a Jenny Rivera 13 Hey gorgeous, so my question for you is who inspires you and what inspires you to do what you do? Girlfriend, you tell me how to slay, girl. <laughs> slay, Jenny. <laughs> You're so cute. I love your attitude. Your personality rocks, Jenny. I love it. Um, well, what inspires me, like I said before, it honestly, um, my family inspires me. And, um... I just want to be better than I was yesterday. My family is the one who inspires me. I just, I just see my, I just see my kids, and I get inspired into actually doing what I want to do. Um, and also, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I just pretty much go on YouTube and see all these other YouTube gurus what they have actually accomplished that they like and that they're actually accomplishing their dreams. And I'm like, that inspires me. Like. If you started from here and now you're here working with amazing companies because it's your dream, um, honestly, who says that you can't do it? Who says that you cannot put your dreams forward? Honestly, it's just my kids to be able to be better than I was yesterday. And honestly, other successful people who actually have made it out in the world, like they have actually put their dreams out there and actually made something for themselves. So these type of people I look up to. So I love watching all these other um, amazing YouTube stars who are collaborating with amazing um, companies and that inspires me to say if they were able to accomplish a dream Why can't I accomplish mine? So that's what inspires me and girl <laughs> You slaying girl. I love your personality All right, let's move on to Daisy cut in one My question is how do you stay 
my question to you is how do you stay so positive um, despite um, a negative day or despite the negativity around you? Hey Francis, uh, my question to you is uh, in what way has YouTube changed your life and can you give me an example of something good and something bad? Hey Francis, my question to you is um, if you were not doing YouTube, what would you be doing now? Francis, when you began YouTube, did you have another job and are you working now or are you doing YouTube as a full-time job now? Okay, so that was like five questions in one and I didn't have time to write it down and I don't think I can replay it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> how do I stay motivated? Already know, um, pretty much. I, I, I just have to say thank you because you guys actually see that I stay positive and motivated. And let me tell you, sometimes you don't see what goes behind the camera, but sometimes I just don't even want to get up from bed. I'm just like, oh, why, why? I just want to do this and I would do that. And it's just so hard. It is hard, honestly, especially if you're in this game, especially you're in this industry of YouTube. It is very, very hard. And But honestly, my passion is what motivates me, my passion of actually becoming something. Um... All through my life, my uh, closest family members, like my mom and dad, now of course they changed the attitude. Um, mostly my dad, um, pretty much always said that I never, I was never gonna become anybody in my life, that I was always gonna be a bum or whatever. Um, I guess it just was the way he was brought up and he was bringing that into his family. But actually that is still in the back of my head, even though he's asked for forgiveness, he's an awesome supporter and um, it just that is in the back of my head of just the fact that I know that he's not the only one who thinks that Francis is gonna be a failure that Francis is not gonna get anywhere and honestly um, that pushes me just the negativity the that I use the negativity I use the negative comments to actually push me forward I don't let negativity get to me um, even though some days the negativity will get to you you need to grab that and be like I'm going to prove you wrong. That is my ultimate quote. Prove them wrong. That quote for me is like, come on, let's do this. Game phase. Let's do it. Let's take over the world. Um, what has YouTube uh, done for me? Honestly, I am a very shy person. One, I tell you the truth. I am a very shy person. Those of you that know me, family members close to me, know how shy I am. I, you can throw me in a room and everybody will be socializing and I will be in the back anti-social just because I'm very shy but it was the way I was brought up and YouTube has made me actually kind of break out of my shell and demonstrate and show people that if you see me on the street I may look stuck up to you because I dress nice I slay or whatever I'm not I'm actually a very sweet lovable kind person and honestly you guys have actually seen through that and that's why I thank YouTube so much because YouTube has opened up so many doors for me also I've been working with companies that I never thought in a million years I would review products for them and I do that because of you guys um Yes, I used to work. I used to work at a bank. I used to work for a bank industry, which my I loved. I was um, I was a I was a commercial head teller, and um, I would deal with money and business accounts, and I loved it. I loved my job. Honestly, I really loved what I do. I did, but it came to an end, and I decided to do YouTube full time. Um, I think that's I think that covered all your questions. Um. Yeah, I'm doing YouTube full time right now. I'm not doing anything else. This is my job. This is what I like to do. This is what I, this is my passion. But just know that, use that quote, prove them wrong. And honestly, you can take over the world, girl. All right? <laughs> You're cute. I love you. The next one is Alex Michelle 95 Oh, I love you too. I couldn't hear you at the end. Oh my god. Okay. Who is my celebrity crush? Ooh, is my husband gonna be watching this video? <laughs> um I have to say is um Dutch Dahamel. I'm gonna write his name right here. A picture. Bam! Um he's Fergie's husband. Fergie's husband. Sorry, Fergie, but your husband is fine. That is my celebrity crush. And you said something about your sister. I'm sorry, but kisses to you both, and I love you guys. Thank you so much. Next. Next is J J J J. Hi, I'm Jasmine, and um, you inspire me so much. And what's your 
favorite moment about being a YouTuber? Wow, you inspire me so much and beyond. And I really love that you try your best and I love you. Oh, you guys are gonna make me cry. Seriously. Oh my god, I didn't think this was gonna get emotional. But it is getting emotional. You guys are gonna make me cry. Okay. What has been my best moment on YouTube? Um, of being in YouTube. Honestly, meeting you guys. Honestly, I have to say, I, even though I haven't met you face to face, I haven't done a meet and greet, which you guys are asking me to do it. I'm like, well, anybody will come to that. <laughs> um, meeting you guys. I have actually met some of you on the on the streets here in Orlando, and honestly, meeting you guys and. See, having people, despite my childhood growing up, having a lot of problems with girls because I was shy and looked conceited, um, just knowing that there's people that actually love me and actually like love my personality and watch my videos and support me, I cannot ask for anything else, honestly. Um, not the brands, not working with companies, not getting um, PR packages, not getting any of that. Honestly speaking, from the bottom of my heart, 100%, you guys. You guys are the best thing from YouTube. I can't lie, and I won't lie, and I'm telling you, I'm pouring out my heart to you guys. You guys are the best thing in YouTube. And I am, you are making me cry. Um, I am, I, I can't believe I inspire you, girl. <laughs> I love you. Um, the other one is Lola Kisses underscore XOX, and right here. What inspired me to being into YouTube is because I wanted to make new friends. That's one. Two, I wanted to share my passion for beauty in this awesome community because there's like a lot of girls who enjoy the same thing that I that, that I enjoy. Um, and honestly, seeing all these other YouTube gurus ha that have actually decided to go for it and seeing how they go into events and meet other YouTube gurus and meet other people. Honestly, I just wanted to meet other people I just wanted to get into the community of beauty and be able to make new friends and honestly that inspired me to be able to to be able to say I'm gonna turn on the camera and do it because it's a hard step but if you're thinking about doing it if you're thinking about jumping and doing YouTube and you your passion is makeup your passion is is this then I just tell you go for it honestly who can tell you no if they tell you no punch them in the face the next one is an it's Nena 18 um, I just want to ask, how do you blend in your hair extensions with your hair like so well? It looks so natural and you have short hair, like how do you do it? Okay. It's a trick. Honestly, yes, I have short hair and, I, and I'm going to tell you something. It's still hard to blend in my hair with the hair extension because it is so short. But what I like to do is I like to um, braid. If I'm parting my hair, like I'm parting, I part the bottom part to be able to put a weft. That part, what I do is I braid it and then I put this extension on top. I do it with the next one. I grab it and I ask my husband actually because I can't do it. I ask him to braid that little part and anything and then whatever is left on the side, I twist it and with the same clips of the weft I grab it so it, everything stays behind nothing comes out and then the strands in the front what I like to do is I like to grab it because my hair is so short so what I like to do is I like to grab it and I like to put a hair clip back here so it kind of looks natural it kind of looks blended I will do a video for you girl look for it because I will I got you girl I got you the next one is Janet Okay, my question to you is what is your pet peeve in the beauty world with makeup, um, anything that has to do with makeup? Oh, that's a good one. What is my pet peeve in the beauty world? Girl, you got me off guard right there, girl. Okay, what is my pet peeve with beauty? <laughs> I'm thinking, what is my pet peeve with beauty? I have to come up with one because I honestly, you made me think about it. I was like, do I have a pet peeve with makeup? Like, do I? I don't have one. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're gonna make. If I think of one, like if I'm probably doing makeup or something, or I see somebody and I'm and I remember my pet peeve. I got you here, Janet. I will definitely. The next one is a Lorraine. Miss Lauren Sumana from Trinidad. My question would be: If YouTube did not exist, what career would you be doing right now, and what are your what are your inspirations? I love you so so much. Oh, uh, I love you! And I, my old boss is from Trinidad. Me and her are good friends. Um, 
You know what? That's a good question. I love it. I really love that question. Um, if I wasn't, if YouTube wasn't around, what career would I be doing? So, what career would I probably be into? Um, I'm not gonna lie. I love banking. I love the banking industry. Um, I love dealing with money. That was for me. That was an amazing job. And I know the sky's the limit when you come to banking. I would probably be into banking. If not, I would probably be into the whole marketing PR agencies, working with brands like the ones that I'm working with now. So I'll probably be either, either or, honestly. Um, the only thing is either or is because, honestly, where I live, Orlando, you don't get that opportunity. You don't have, like, this agencies where you can work with. But if um, I wasn't married and I have kids, I would definitely be living either in California or New York working for any PR company or marketing company. That would be my absolute awesome career. The next one is Jewel, Jewel 18. What is your all-time? favorite liquid lipstick like it won't come up oh you know what don't buy that one because that one don't work but anyway <laughs> i love it <laughs> she's like uh -uh, don't buy that one that one don't work <laughs> um honestly i have to say um color pop color pop liquid lipsticks are very inexpensive and for me they last all day and the other brand i will have to say um it's anastasia has amazing 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 quality and lip land honestly lip land i've used lip land uh liquid lip stains and they are amazing they don't dry your lips so i would say ColourPop, anastasia beverly hills and lip land those are my all-time favorite at the moment sorry the next one is elizabeth what's up elizabeth my question to you is what motivated you to have a YouTube? How do you set up your recording? And girl, your YouTube rocks. I love it. <laughs> I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, like I have said before, what motivated me to start YouTube is just the fact that I was able to meet other people and share my passion with these other people and honestly just make new friends and uh seeing other girls that actually made it and see that they're actually living their dreams actually motivated me to be like let's go let's do this and my setup i will definitely do a um how i set up and film video for you guys because honestly right now i have my two lights right here i have my ring light and my camera and that's it i honestly don't have like things hanging i don't have a microphone hanging i don't have any of that i just have very very simple equipment let's turn them on <sighs> let me let me roast myself to death here with all these lights because it is hot okay, so the next one is just nate Charlie. i have to say i love your video my question would be for you is um, how long have you been doing YouTube? Thank you. I'm so happy you guys like my videos. I do have to say, I record, I put them out there. I'm like, oh my god, are they gonna like it? Um, I think I've been on YouTube for three years. Um, one year and a half full time. So a year and a half was part time. Ever whenever I was able to get a video up, and year and a half I actually been done uh, full time, and it's. I know I can give it a little more, but it's just that I have kids and I have a family and I have a house and I have to take care of them first and then this. But I will say three in total. The next one is Kitty Cat 5743. What's your favorite animal? Uh huh. My favorite animal. I would say it has to be a fish. You don't have to pet it, you don't have to walk it, you don't have to pick up the poop or anything, you know, I would have to say it's a fit. <laughs> Just because I'm lazy when it comes to animals. <laughs> I'm kidding. If I was able to have a, uh, an animal, because my kids are very allergic, they're both very, they have asthma, they get asthma attacks, I would have to say a dog. Um, I would have to say a dog and the one that my, my, my husband likes and we would get for my kids, it's a Dutch hound, the, the one that looks like a hot dog. I hope I'm saying it right, you know? Okay. So the next one will be Fanny Hernandez. Fanny Hernandez. So if you had the chance to be a celebrity for one day, who would you choose and why? Love your videos. Oh, you're gorgeous. Thank you. Um, if I was to choose a celebrity to be for a day, who would it be and why? Um, I would have to say that I would honestly, honestly say... Kylie Jenner. Do not 
do not quote me don't hate me on it but i will tell you why um i don't follow her a lot uh it's she's not she's not a person that i want to be if i would i was young oh my god i want to be kylie jenner honestly no but it's just the influence that she has on today's generation is so huge i mean she's number one on snapchat come on like you know how many people follow her on snapchat she has millions of followers on on instagram and the reason why is because of that because she has so much influence on teenagers on the new generation and i would use that to make a positive impact i will use it to be able to get girl self-esteem up um to be able to to promote campaigns just be able to to try and make the growing generation a good one with a solid foundation um pretty much I will go into the whole beauty world that you don't have to look like a certain person in order for you to be beautiful because just you alone you're beautiful you're your own kind of beauty um i want to get that message across but honestly if kylie jenner gets it across it'll get a lot faster let's be honest so i would be her but i would use it in a positive way <laughs> um because of the fact that she has so much um she has so much followings you know what i mean and the next one is, we're almost done. Oh my God, I got so many ideas. Oh, I can't do all of them, honestly, because um, I'm dying here. Flaquita 214. Are you planning to have other babies? Um, am I planning to have other babies? No. <laughs> honestly, I'm going to stay with my two boys. Um, I love kids, don't get me wrong, but right now they're at a stage where they need so much help and I'm trying to um, take on my career, take on my passion. So um, once now they're both into school, I'm going to have more free time. I really don't want to start over. So honestly, no, I'm not going to have any more kids. But if God wants to bless me with another one, I can't reject it. All right, so now let's do La Fashion Beauty. Hi there. Um, I'm just wondering, how do you manage your time with two kids? Like, how do you keep a schedule or, or is there somebody that helps you out while you record? Because sometimes I really have enough time to brush my teeth. <laughs> Girl, I feel you. Yes. Yes, I do. I feel you. Um, I have to tell you if you guys see my channel you guys see that I try to upload two to three videos a week sometimes I go by a week without it because I don't have a lot of help I do have my mom with me every now and then she tries to help me but she has her own things she's very ill she has to go to a lot of um, doctor's appointments so I now the school started that my big one is in school I try to take the morning even though I'm exhausted I'm tired you just have to do it honestly um, and I put the little one with an iPad or he's playing, he's very, he t he's very good. And I just come record, I tell him, hey, mommy's going to record. And I try to do it in the mornings. Like, my mornings are for recording because one noon, once noon comes, I have to start getting ready for lunch. I have to start getting ready for cooking. And let me tell you, girl, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. I sometimes have to edit my videos at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning when everybody's sleeping because that's my me time. So when you're a mom and you have kids and you have you work and everything, it's really, really hard. But make sure that you always find that good time for yourself. Um, I don't have I don't I cannot go out with my girlfriends or anything like that because I don't have a babysitter. So I don't go out as you guys can see. I barely I'm always home with my kids, I'm always home with my family. But um I try to make it work, honestly. I speak to the kids, you know, let's do a routine. But in the morning it's my me time, it's my recording time, and it's not easy. I know. Sometimes you're in the toilet and you're just there sitting trying to take a poop and here comes the little one with boogers or he wants to eat because he's hungry and nobody can help you. <laughs> I've been there and I know how hard it is, girl. Alright, the next one is Gabriela Luna. I think I know this girl. I think I know her. Hey friends, so we had a question. Is Crackhead Kathy the girl? You know, Crackhead Kathy, I'm the girl. And we bought this highlight at the store, and the highlight's just not working. Like, look, I don't understand. <laughs> so, like, the real question is, like, why don't we look like Lace Donuts? Like, I want to look like Crispy Cream. And it's just I not, crazy. like, I don't see it. Like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you guys are adorable. I love you. These two girls go with me to church. They are adorable. Oh my god, the first one, the one with the highlight, I've known her since like, she was short and little. <laughs> now she's a grown woman. I love you girls, you guys made me laugh. First of all, you're buying the wrong highlighter, alright? <laughs> and I agree, we all want to look like Krispy Kreme donuts over here. <laughs> you guys are awesome, I love you. <laughs> 
So I want to snap your style laying down with a filter. But my question is, if you are as outgoing as you are in your snaps and your videos in real life. And the reason I ask is because I'm Puerto Rican and everybody expects me to be a certain way and I'm the total opposite. I'm shy and quiet. <laughs> Honestly, yes, I'm very outgoing and I'm very jumpy. Um, um... I love going out. I'm not gonna lie. I love going out, but ever since I became a mom, my family's first. I I stay at home with my kids, and I do. I'm sorry, I'm doing this constantly. I'm sorry. Um, I stay at home with my kids. Um, yes, I'm very perky. I'm very outgoing. If you tell my husband, if you ask my husband, I love going out. I love spending time with friends and family. Um, I love being around people that I know. Um, yes, being Puerto Rican, you are pretty much categorized as the party animals um, but you don't have to be if that's not your personality then that's not you I am very shy though I have said it I'm very shy when it comes to new people I'm very shy I won't go to an event if I don't know anybody and if you don't like my personality if you don't like that about me then hell honestly I'm being so honest with you right now you don't have to be what other people expect you to be you are who you are in period you know they don't pay your bills they don't do anything for you so don't feel bad because you are not a party animal or you're not outgoing or you're not whatever. That's not who you are, honestly. And people who actually love you are not going to care. And you just have to balance each other out. Honestly, with my husband, he's more like a laid back type of guy. So he's the one that keeps me on a leash. He's like, all right, you're not going anywhere tonight. <laughs> but yeah, you know, who you see on my Snapchat, who you see on my videos, that's who I am. <sighs> I'm all up in your face. So, I got a Puerto Rican in the house. Puerto Rico. Woo -woo. Then, the next one, I'm almost done, honestly. Um, I don't think I'm be able to get all of them. I'm going to get the ones that were, like, the first ones that sent. Like, yeah, I'm right there. Let's do NYC Mama 1. Hi, friends. My name is Janine. So, my question is, to your in-laws or your family hate on you? And how do you do Ooh, I like that question. See, I like personal questions. You guys can give it to me. Give me some personal questions. Okay. At the beginning, my mama-in-law and I and my sister-in-law would crash heads a lot because um, I be I came into my husband's life pretty much. Hey, I'm here and hey, I'm pregnant. I'm taking your kid. I'm taking your son and your brother away from you. So I understand that because that happened to me with my brother. Um, I understand that be the first, honestly, it was kind of hard. Um, and yes, it was uh, it was constant fighting. But we moved from Puerto Rico to Orlando, and that kind of gave us some space. But then my mother-in-law came to live with us. And yes, there was a lot of like clashing of heads, bumping heads, because she has a very strong character, and so do I. And I'm, here, I'm like, hey, I'm the woman of the house. I'm the, I'm the queen of the house. You had your house. You know, you had your chance to rule. Now it's my time. So that was kind of my, my, my personality with her. But then, honestly, I started seeing her and respecting her and telling her hey listen I had it had a one-on-one -on -one with her I'm like listen I love your I love your son um I love what you've done with him I love that you raised him and you raised a good man and I actually just kind of told her um all these things that she did great for her son and that I was here to try and cater to him and take care of him I know definitely not in the way that she has but that I'm not here to 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 do anything wrong to her son and as a woman in Latin you know we're very protective of our kids we're very protective of children so I had to understand that and I had to tone down a little bit um, there always gonna be some hate there's always gonna be some shade going on but honestly I brush it off and I always speak to my husband and I say listen you give me my position you give me my place and then that's it that's all that matters so whenever they're talking they're running their mouth I know my husband's gonna take care of it so I think that the best person to take care of any shade between family members if it's your in-laws it would have to be your husband it would have to be your spouse it would have to be your partner the one that actually would have to talk to your spouse um, that would actually have to talk to their family and say listen this is my wife this is who I decided to be with and you guys have to respect that so he's the one that has to put the lines where they go and he's the one that's supposed to vouch for you and look out after you and just pretty much um, Sit down and talk to them. Be like, listen, you know, we're a family. We can't be throwing shade at each other. Honestly, confrontation will resolve a lot of problems. And if they don't understand, if they don't, if they just want to be mean people, then don't let that get to you. Just be like, all right, I try. I try my best. So good luck to you, girl. But I love the question. I did. All right, one more. And we're going to...
gonna do Omi's underscore heaven heaven oh oh <laughs> oh wait no I'm sorry that was a wrong one we're gonna do Ariana Brichet oh my goodness I love your videos so much but what inspired you sorry, to do your babe, I, you. Oh, I love you <laughs> well if you got if you have read the if you have actually seen the video what inspired me to do YouTube channel was my passion. I wanted to meet new people. I wanted to share my my passion with the world. I wanted to get into the community, and I wanted to make something for myself. So that was inspiring me to do YouTube. Oh my God! I can't anymore. But you guys are awesome. I love you guys. All want every single one of you guys that sent me the question. I actually have some left, um, but I. I think I'm gonna make this video like 40 minutes long to be honest. Um, I just have to say thank you guys. I love you guys so much. This has been an amazing Snapchat Q&A. I love it. Um, next time that I do a Snapchat Q&A, you guys can get a little bit more personal. I love the questions that challenge me, that actually challenge me to give you a good answer. So thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for your love. I wish I can literally hug every one of you guys and just squish you guys. So um, I'm actually going to go through all the entries. Um, I'm not going to pick because based on your questions, I'm just pretty much going to put all the names that were sent in there. And even if I didn't open your, your, your video, um, maybe next time I can do more with you guys. But thank you guys so much. I love you guys. Besotes. And if you haven't, Subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and do so. And if you don't follow me on Snapchat, you should. Because I do a lot of things for my Snapchat fam. Thank you, Snapchat fam. You guys are the best. I love you. Thank you so much for sticking till the end. Besotes, be blessed, precious pearls. I will see you ladies on my next video. Bye.